My fur! You've turned black. That's what happened, Beauty. <laughs> oh, Magnolia, why'd you ditch me? What the heck? Why does everyone keep leaving me? I shall head to uh, whatever the hell I'm supposed to go to. Alright, we better hurry on. Attention! Attention everyone! I know that somehow you fools helped the invading creature. This is unacceptable and a huge danger. Do you think this is the best for everyone? Yes, you white ball. You have your last warning. Leave the village now or follow the rules. Otherwise... What, you gonna kick my ass? You will suffer. Life is suffering already, F off. Life is suffering. What's that? What is this? Oh, it's just a puddle. I thought it was some insect of some kind. What's that? Nothing. Save point! Oh, you guys are polluting the woods. Funy? No matter what the Patriarch says, you don't give up, do you? No matter. If the rain falls toxic, you go on. This rain doesn't affect me. As if you cared. The Patriarch assured me. Only the disloyal are affected by a storm's touch. What do you want? My mind is so confused. I met you in the woods, I said I'd help you. But then you changed nature, with powers. I feel like the rain affected his mind. Maybe that's why he's like this. I thought it had turned green naturally at the first time. But no, you were responsible for that. Changing our security, our well-being. When I said that we could be friends, what did you understand? That we'd be in the same place? Together? This is crazy and insecure. Not satisfied you come to our village. Spoke with our people. I saw everything you did. You put ideas into God's head, made him think about love, art, the future. Our village is not about that. You made Jonas open the doors to a stranger after years of seclusion. You made him invite you to enter his house. An unprecedented crime. He is exposed. It's possible that he thinks that freedom is something good. You spoke to my plants. You played with them. You fed them with joy. Oh, you're the writer. I thought you were too dumb to write. Every act of your debauchery in this place endangers living beings. But none of this is significant anymore. The Patriarch is coming now. He'll wipe you out. Now it doesn't matter your foolish intentions. Behold! Can I move? No? Patriarch! Where are you? That's not possible. It's not. There has to be something wrong. Funi, Magnolia helped me. She can help you too. Magnolia? She gave you this umbrella? That traitor. I should have suspected. What kind of... could do that? Only those who want to deceive, mistreat, who don't understand that danger lives next door. But I'll prove my point. I was chosen by the Patriarch, whether he's here or not. Oh no.
What is this? My fur! You've turned black. That's what happened, Puny. <laughs> oh no, that hurts! My eyes are burning! Oh no, is this an actual boss battle? It probably- I have to do something with the left and right, right? I am seeing! I can feel! I am? I can do it. Holy eye! Now it all makes sense. He was here all this time. Because there's no other way. Only fear can help us. And all power of fear comes from panic. And now I can be it. Because this power always lived inside my mind. Ah, oh, frick. Ah, oh, frick. You have boss battles in this game? Oh, Funy. Lennon! Lennon boy, over there. What? Where's there? Oh, hi. Listen, Lennon boy. Inside of this tangle of darkness is Funy. His beliefs in the Patriarch, which now I wonder if he really exists, have made him become that. He is both Funy, the boy we know, and at the same time, this thing of isolation and pain. You need to wake him up. The rain will poison him if he remains exposed. Turn off those machines. Couldn't you have done this all this time instead of me? I should have suspected. Yeah, I'm on it. Okay, well. Why? The paw of darkness tries to hit you. I will speak to Funy. Oh, okay. Your words didn't reach him. However, the pot retreated. Okay, so I can't speak to him yet. I I can to have to do this boss battle. Okay. The paw of darkness tries to smash you. I will scream for Funy. <laughs> There's no Funy in the darkness. Your voice speaks to the void. And soon you will speak to the walls of your prison. It didn't reach him, but the paw retreated. Wait, maybe I have to keep convincing him. <laughs> Hi. Ow. Okay. You prove yourself an idiot, struggling with empty attitudes? Weak. Do you think you can reduce this rain? Nothing will happen. You can't stop me. The rain will perpetuate for ages. And this village will learn all that it should have learned from the beginning. Only illusion can show us the peace. I have always been the patriarch of this place, and you will not stop my destiny. The head of darkness is approaching. I will face the mouth. Do you think you're a match for my teeth? That's probably a bad idea. Lennon? Lennon boy, you're small compared to him. Okay, I'm on it. Shoot, I can't see crap. Oh wait, am I supposed to go underneath him? Well, what the hell is this thing? The machine, um... What does that do? He's shrinking! No, he's increasing. No! What did you... I still gotta calm him down, though. I... I couldn't... protect the village. Afuni! It's me, Magnolia! There's nothing more to protect! We're safe! Who needs care is you! We took a lot of toxic rain. Come with us, we can fix it. There's... No more solution. We're going out and facing the world. 
Bad things will come to you and I can't do anything. I invented a patriarch in my mind. And his illusion made me believe that all was better, but now Doreen is gone. Lennon, you really faced me. I could keep the whole village inside our houses forever in that form. But you stopped me. Did you do the right thing? Of course you did, Funi. Stop this. Please, come. You're hurt by the rain and you need medicine. Is there a bigger evil than you? I just want nobody to feel the pain and fear I felt away from home. Sorry, Mag. Where? Where's Funy? And what's that? A little hyena keychain. It looks like Funy. What the hell? Let's examine it. A hyena with strange colors. Well, your friend turned into a keychain. I'm sorry about that. Lennon. What are you doing on the floor? What did I tell you about getting into trouble? It's not my fault, they beat me up. Did you go to the clinic before class as I suggested? I want you to get up from there. And say what you feel to someone. Now! I'm sorry. Sorry. I can't handle this. Not yet, at least. But the truth is, that I... I'm afraid too. I'll try to get out of bed and be willing with you. But you're going to have to cooperate with me. Let's take care of that eye, first of all. It's swollen. It's drizzling? So it's going to rain. Come on. That's it for Len and the Lion. I think the game has a lot of potential. One of the biggest gripes I have, well, there's a tiny bit of lag at the starting map. I think it has something to do with the fog, because I don't experience any lag in the other maps. Mm, it's not really a gripe, but some of the custom tile sets just block you every now and then, not sure why. You should just look at that and fix it. 
what I love about the game, I love the music. The soundtrack is just so nice. It's just so calming and relaxing to me. I love it. The art is nice. It's very hard to do custom sprites, let alone do animation for it. So I appreciate that. I think it's great that you have your own custom tile set too. At least I think it's custom. My recommendation for this, since this is going to be a very story-heavy game, and there's going to be lots of dialogue, perhaps you should include a sort of skip function for cutscenes, or a way to fast-forward text. It just helps things a bit. I also suggest getting um, an English proofreader, just to go over things and make sure everything's correct. But yeah. Uh, so summary, love the soundtrack, great art, huge potential, check your custom tile sets, fix the lag every now and then, and get an English proofreader just in case. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye